Welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you have been enjoying so far. Uh, I saw a star. Hold on. I have a minute to get it. Is it close? Probably not. Um, yeah. Underground. I cleaned up. So, no more of that. <laughs> right, to be fair, I might go down there to do the battery stuff at some point. But it's been upgraded enough that uh, I don't have to do that for a very long time. Yeah, okay, I'm not going to make it to that in time. Alright, um... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Alright, first thing I'm gonna do, uh, I needed to make a stop here at some point. Because I need more, uh, flying stuff, but also, I need to drop off some weapons I acquired. Ones that I'm never gonna use, just, I think something that belongs in, um, my house. idea correct <laughs> now I just need something to connect this room and this room Oh. Ah. 
just a sec. Vanished angle room. Let's see what this looks like. Interesting. That kind of works. this out. triangle rooms. What's happening here? can attach this like this. I think I got how this works now. Oh! 
To me. I may have messed up, we'll see. <laughs> this is uh, a monstrosity of a house. this anyway. It's a weapon room. Hopefully shouldn't get in the way, let's see. Ah, well. I think the only spot it's not gonna get in the way is there, but that's a bit weird. I'll fit it. I'll figure it out.
think the problem is that it gets in the way either way. And support another triangle. <laughs> yeah, to support it. That's the only way I'm gonna get it done is with a second tri second triangle. Might be a bit too awkward to facilitate it. stuff. How do you put away stuff? Bring it over here, I don't want to use these ones. Where's the photo? Oh, well, memories. Oh. Mm. No. <laughs> Good photo.
Oh, it's like two sets of stairs. Ah, another one. Ah. Very homely. <laughs> How much room do I have out the back? I want to say. Ah. Mm. Oh. Ah. Okay, we've moved this to like pretty much right the property line. It really can't fit much else. Okay, let's make this the back. No, but how can it not fit much else? Dude, you're in my way. Please move. Okay. Oh. It might fit. This is 15 out of 15 already. It's not that bad, is it? I don't know, it might be bad.
Hmm. Interesting. Even though I detach it, it still says 15 out of 15. the hard description of it. Okay, I'm just trying to see. If I take away that one, I need a triangle to replace it. And then it'll be stairs, room. That's still the same thing. Alright, let's just... Fifteen is a weird number. Sixteen would have been perfect. I could work with sixteen. Alright, that'll do. like an outdoor entertaining area. That's fine. The important thing is... Sure how else I could fix that. Other than uh, well, this is my bad. <laughs> Alright, good enough. Where's that headed to? I need to get on that. I forgot what part I need, but I need, I need it. Oh shit. <laughs> that was an accident. That was silly. Yep. Perfect timing. Okay, we need to... Then I need to look at. I believe we're up to a uh, mouth, if I'm not mistaken. And then it's horn. 
Ja. I just get the horn. And we're good. We're going to be riding the fire dragon for a while. <laughs> but this just means deity set can, can be upgraded completely. I did it. Oh. <laughs> it's just... I wonder if I suck that was something I could dive into. It's just the horse thing. Which I've never really had any interest in doing. vertical. This makes for an easy thumbnail. <laughs> I'd have to think about it later. Yeah, let's just get the horn, I think. Unless I already have it. It's a possibility. Wow. I have two of them. Then I'm done. I just needed the the fang. I already have two horns. Okay. No waiting around then. Just enough to do this.
Ah. Ah. Mmm. Mmm. Ah. There we go. Fully upgraded. Alright, um, I gotta go back to Tarrytown. Just gotta get stuff from this machine. Be a monstrosity, but it's my monstrosity. Wait, really? Answer. I know it is. Another one. It's probably at the entrance. Clever. Goes the battle palace. That one. It's a wonderful battle of Talus I was hoping for. May I borrow this picture? Of course. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be massive though. It looks cool. It looks like it's posing. It looks like it's flexing. <laughs> I mean, jokes aside, with the other the other thing I got going on on the left hand side there, that one's pretty nice. <laughs> hey, hey, come look, see. This is a battle talus, a creature sure to shock you when you first meet it. But do not fear, draw near. This is the only place you can safely admire such a monster up close. 
monster it looks like a pile of rocks. Him, <laughs> This sight has stolen your eyes, now give me your ears, all of them. Once again, this enchanting monster is a battle talus, with a body that looks like, looks made out of rock. It doesn't mind that other monsters climb around it and build nests upon it. It's a generous monster, you see, both in size of its body and the heart size of its heart. Don't you wish you too could live atop of it? At the very least, I bet you wish you could give it a hug. I know I do. Sadly, there aren't, they aren't known for enjoying such emotional outpouring, so it's best if you give them a wide berth. Oh, I wanted to try a ride one, Zipzar. Look and learn, then you won't hate. Understand what you fear and you'll feel great. For those with an open mind, wonders always await. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Oh. Once the extract, okay. Another one. Okay, what, what do you want this time? Frocks. Oof. Oof, a frocks. I might have one already. Maybe. Oh no, I do. Uh, very sleepy. This one looks. Oh, it's actually not as. They shrunk it down a little. Oh, what the fuck? Why is it. I guess it's a little awkward. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> Look at me. My legs are all wobbly with excitement. Vivid. So vivid. This is a frox. Made so tastely. It's just as perfect as I dreamed it would. True, it looks so real. Even I'm a little worried it might take a snap at me. I knew, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Alright, let's just read his thing. <laughs> here you, here you, come look, see. This is the rarely sighted Frox. But do not fear, draw near. This is the only place you can safely admire such a monster up close. Goodness me, who knew monsters grew that big? <laughs> this is a sight that has stolen your eyes, now give me your ears, all of them. Once again, this monster with the foreboding body is called a frox. Gobbles up all it sees, and sees all that it wants to gobble. <laughs> oh, but if it saw you, you'd be into its mouth and down its gullet in no time at all. And yet, the ore on its back twinkles and sparkles in dark... In the dark depths of the earth, it must be quite mesmerizing. I'd love to put my eyeballs upon it just once, but no, I don't suggest you try it. It could be the last thing your eyeballs ever see. <sighs> Gotta save us all. <laughs> Look and learn, then you won't hate, understand what you fear, and you'll feel great. For those with an open mind, wonders always await. <laughs> okay. Lionel. Oh. <laughs> Q. 
King Leok. I have a picture of it. Thankfully took one. It's impressive it can build a statue that big. Oh, damn. Magnificent. This is the mightiest sculpture of them all. The ultimate sculpture of an invincible monster. It should be like at the entrance of the town. I mean, it's kind of tiny. I'm gonna put it here. <laughs> the scene is complete. think that we can stand here unharmed beside such a thing. What a thrilling thrill to, for one to be feel. Crafted with such good taste too. I see it's everything I'd hoped it would be. I know it's a sculpture of course. Still even I'm surprised at how imposing it is. Yes and now we must show it to the eyeballs of the village. Hear ye, hear ye, come look see. This is it, the most monstrous of all monsters, the King Gliok. But do not fear, draw near, this is the only place it's safe to admire such a monstrous royal up close, the only place. It is nothing short of astonishing, it has three, three heads. What would I do if I ran into something like this? I hope I never find out. Ahem, this sight has stolen your eyes, now give me your ears, all of them. I say again, this monster is the fearsome King Gliok. Fire, ice, lightning, powers possessed by plenty of monsters, but our noble friend here is unique. It controls all three elements at the same time. And while it looks like a beast from a book of stories, I warn you not to dream of meeting it in the flesh. If you were to come face to face with triple face, <laughs> wait, if you were to come face to triple face with this monster, arriving home alive would be quite unlikely. Remember, please, reckless adventurers should be aware and keep away. <sighs> ah, just seeing this one here is plenty frightening to me. <laughs> Look and learn, then you won't hate, understand what you fear, and you'll feel great. Fear, for those with an open mind, wonders always wait. Okay, that's it, right? <laughs> A diamond, okay. Is nearly complete. <laughs> oh, what do you mean nearly complete? <laughs> Which monster? Oh, that's it. Yeah, we've done all his requests. So this is the final scene. I mean, if I could get rid of one, one, it would be this one. But the others feel like it's it fits in. I can't believe <laughs> this one. The position this one is, it's like, it's almost like it's flexing. Anyway. Okay. That's done. Now, progress. We're done with the ground. It's time for the sky. Let's have a look. Wait a minute. Why isn't this one? Okay, and I need to go collect the capsules as well, but... Don't those balls usually have one? I'm gonna go have a look.
fans more than anything else. Again, but I'm gonna do it these ones this time. Should hopefully be enough fans. All right. Uh. Yeah. What goes? Usually there's one with this one. All right. I'm gonna go have a look. I bet if there's one anywhere, it's gonna be there. Oh yeah, cold, right. Oh, it's low gravity, cool. To the diving animation. <laughs> it didn't let me grab it. Ugh, that's annoying. I don't have to worry about battery anymore. Hmm, the indicator thing's not going off. That's surprising.
Wait, did the bike disintegrate? I think the bike disintegrated. What the? It's like this weird thing here. Oh shit, there's a second one. Solve the first one. take advantage of this. See where I'm aiming. What am I aiming for? Okay, I need to take out another one of these. Wow, that's annoying.
It just vanished? No, it's a, it's down there. Gravity is making this difficult. What? Now I can't go through this? This is a moving target, isn't it? How close am I? It needs to be a little higher. It's a shrine, yeah. Alright, so I left here without doing the big puzzle. I didn't notice the second one. Should be already worthy. What's that do? Oh. Interesting.
I wonder if that would, uh... Yeah, it would probably affect dark creatures. Okay. So that would mean there would have to be another four at least. Because no message popped up. Uh, I'll go back to lookout landing and just cash this in already. And then I'll figure out my next move. believe I'm spending it on stamina. Take a look. There's an island. Already see it. Um, there's one here, but that looks pretty minor. Oh, there's another one. All right, this one because we might be able to get to it pretty easily. Oh, almost walked in. Okay, is it above or is it below? It's below. No, it's above. It's way above. Okay, that's why I never went to it. That shouldn't be a problem anymore. Yeah. <sighs> 
Valor Island. Tipping. Why is it tipping? Why is it tipping? Why is it tipping? Pull up. Oh, man. Can I not fly any higher? It's got to be that island down there. Hang on. I've done this before. Okay, land it. <laughs> Apparently it doesn't let you fly that high. Can't be that. It's it's even higher. Yep. It's a silent here. Oh god. Holy crap. It's gotta be up there. How is there no low gravity up here? Okay, um... Saving. Okay, well. 
Let's be safe. How do I... There has to be in the sun spot somewhere. There we go. This should be straightforward. Save just in case. Another one. Already worthy. The other thing I gotta keep in mind is like, there's still that storm cloud. Maybe after the next island it should be that. I guide you.
Wow. Let's try. Easy. Let me just see if there's nothing else here. I had to rewind ready just in case I was gonna mess it up. Okay, so it's already done. There's a second one if I wanna. First try, always first try here. This one's gonna be more complicated, let's see. How oh, it's angled. But. Okay, hang on. I mean, I can think of a way I don't have to do this, but let's just... What's my reward? Eh, eh, I guess. So either there's two left or there's six left. Oh no, wait, there's one more. Oh wait, there's an island further to the north. After the island further to the north. Assuming there is one. I'm going to assume there is one there, and then that would just leave two. Well, I can't get through there from here, so let's see. I guess go to this one. It's this island over here. Oh. There's a message thing here. To okay, there's multiple things here. Above, so it's below. Wait, where? Oh, it's not even on this island. Ok, 
Okay, no free stuff anywhere. So what is this thing? It's the side of it. Alright. Um, oh, it's up there. Okay, I see it. I'm going to have to be very gentle with this. send it don't want to send it to earth yet okay that's safe now I think I have to read it first, otherwise it just doesn't register. There we go. Okay. Okay, this one didn't fall. Wow, this one's sturdy. Not all of them fall, it would appear. Headed to, yep, just straight ahead. I imagine it's the ball. Okay, the thing is on the bottom layer. That's a retrieval quest. Okay, I'm completely wrong. It's, on, it's over here. It's alright. That's kind of useless for what I'm trying to do anyway. Okay. 
Oh, we need heavy stuff, so... I have 30 of these, I'm not going to use them for anything else. Gets pushed down. How's that not enough white? Is that enough force? There we go. Okay, what did what did this achieve though? <laughs> It'll probably let me get to the underground layer. Doesn't seem to be showing the opening anymore. Why not? Well, this is per this is pressed on now, so. Guess go through the roof and see what's up. Am I just stuck? No, there we go. Okay, what did this actually achieve? map. Yep. Not worth the time. Wait, Zonite Shin Guards. Shin Guards, wearing them awakens the magic, improving efficiency for Zonite devices. No kidding. <laughs> I'm 
bit of battery life, I guess, by wearing pants. Okay. Ugh, this is gonna be tough. I need to find a spot where I can build one of these. Otherwise, how? How? There. Okay, cool. Got it. All right, now. I got lucky. Okay. trolley. Okay, um... Yes, of course I do. It'll do honestly as long as it moves. Nope, okay. Oh, why? Why? No, 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 no! Why did it do that? I recovered this one at least. That's such bullshit. I wasn't trying to sweep the rug under it. Alright, well I lost a fan, but could have been worse. had an odd number of them anyway. I got lucky. I was able to catch it. Okay, this shouldn't have any problems now. Okay, where are we headed? Not that one. Okay, I see it. Get it off that thing. 
All right. Admittedly a little stressful, but it's fine. Better have been already worthy. <laughs> okay. Well, that must again two or six. I guess whenever we see the message. That's probably two. I can't see where there would be six more in the sky, unless the final area maybe. That I saw over there. Is that a gate? Oh. Oh, I see. Ha! <laughs> The intended way to do it. Whoops. Oh, well, this is already done. Okay, so that's what I was supposed to do. Okay. Hey, Messiah, how's it going? Alright, I'm gonna go turn this in. Since I got another sky lore thingy. Pretty tired, had a long night. Oh, you're just gonna sleep? Uh, weekend was alright. Just went out and had, uh, breakfast this morning with my brother and niece, so it was nice. And then just played Diablo and just lazed about because it's just cold, rainy, and miserable here. Oh. Oh. 
I guess there's one left, huh? <laughs> Skip the translation. I don't I don't want to hurt my brain trying to read this. Oh. Okay. The royals whom the Chamberlain served so faithfully were gone one by one. It's heart rending to read. Her pain comes across so clearly in her words. What's less clear from these entries is the cause of all these partings. Well, each new mystery is an opportunity to do some more research. If I keep digging, someday I'll unravel it. Like noble Chamberlain, I must do my part. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Cloudy and rainy sounds awesome. Eh, I mean, it's just the, the part where it's cold and just if you want to go and do something outside, you, it's just mm. motivation is very low. Oh. Oh, hello. You didn't have a quest before. Master Link, good evening. What are you thinking about the floating ring ruin? I am as well. It has been on our minds for some time. We would like to suggest resuming the research, if we may. Have you figured out what became of Princess Zelda? Well, we have now. <laughs> what? The Zelda who appeared after the upheaval was the creation of the Demon King, and the real Princess Zelda still hasn't been found. But how can this be true? It's such an unbelievable tale, and yet... I trust you completely, Master Link, if... Must be as you say. Oh, sorry. Uh, it is hard to explain, but the princess we saw was somehow unfamiliar. It was though her very aura was different. Mm -hmm. But if she was an imposter the whole time, that would mean... The real reason she ordered us to close off the floating ring ruins was... Because the Demon King saw it as a threat, isn't that right? That means one thing, we should investigate the floating ring ruin right away. You're exactly right. There is no longer any reason to prohibit your research. Let's open up the floating ring ruin at once, Mr. Toro. Mm. Knowledge is tugging the line. Time to reel in some results. <laughs> your Luralin phrasing is coming through, Mr. Toro. You must really be pleased. Aww. It's just, hmm, there's one problem. We still need to determine how to conduct the survey. Oh. It's clear the interior of the ring ruin is hollow. Sadly, there doesn't seem to be an entrance. If the contents of the other ring ruins are any indication, there should be a stone slab engraved with Zonai script. Mm. First, we should look for a way to confirm that there's a stone slab inside. However, we also don't want to damage these precious ruins. <laughs> oh, pardon me, I was lost in thought. I'd better hurry and tell everyone about this so we can open up the ruins. Also, I don't have to work tomorrow, so that's a bonus. Oh, I guess we can see what this is. Convenient platform setup. So I guess I just have to take a picture of it. like he disappeared into the ring, but that can't be right. Ah, uh, forget I said anything about it. Must have imagined it. Huh? What's this you've got? Huh? Could it be? Could it really be? Huh. Pi, a callip. Look at this. No. Could this be the interior of the floating ring going? Wow, the stone slab is so clearly visible. 
There appear to be Zonai inscriptions on this one as well, just like in the other ring ruins. Toro, if you would. Uh... Right, let me see what I can decipher. Hmm. Promise Zelda solemnly sign Monero Sage of Hide the Key Southeast and Trust Future Wish Defeat Demon King. That's all I can make out. There's some lettering I can't figure out before Southeast, but Monero seems to be someone's name. <gasps> Look at the context of Monero. I do believe this is the first time one of these slabs has put a name to a sage. It also mentions Zelda and a Z Demon King. How fascinating. <laughs> Aha, the inscriptions are telling us all some sort of essential information. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. It's just the part before the southeast section. I think it says Dragonland. Hmm? Ah, oh, you're right. Pyre knows her stuff. This should read Dragonland Southeast. Fantastic work, Pyre. Oh, thank goodness. I've proven useful. It seems my continued zone I language studies have paid off. Oh no, I'm being upstaged. <laughs> uh, where were we? Uh, something about a dragon land to the southeast? Uh, hmm, how familiar are you with the southeast Hyrule? There's a site in Farron that has long been known as the Zonai Ruins. It predates the ruins falling from the sky and is home to many ancient relics. If memory serves, there, was, there were dragon designs on those ruins that I haven't seen elsewhere. <laughs> oh, Caleb, great catch. The Zonai Ruins in Farron. There's a good chance that's exactly where this is pointing us at. That's our Caleb. Fantastic work. Hi, hi, hi. What did you just say? <laughs> that this inscription is pointing us towards Farron's Zonai ruins? No, not that. The next bit. A certain adjective was used. I believe it started with fan and ended with tastic. What was it again? Uh, fantastic work, you mean? <laughs> yeah, yes. Fantastic work. That is what you said. Hmm, yes. Caleb, what fantastic work, he said. Huh. Fantastic. Me. Oh. Link, when we put together the script on the stone slab and translate it, we got we get definite mentions of the Sage Monero, the Demon King, and someone with the same name as Princess Zelda. Something related to all three of them must be waiting at the Zonai Ruins in Southeast Hyrule. Uh. We've landed a real catch here. Thank you for your help, truly. Now we have no time to dawdle. There's research to be done. <laughs> Caleb, will you join me? <laughs> of course, it would be a fantastic addition to the team. Very good. With that settled, let's be off to the Zonai Ruins in Farron. First, we head southeast to the Zonai Ruins in Farron, where there is mention of a Monero and a Zelda and a Demon King. But we must make haste to the ruins southeast in Far. <laughs> they just, like, they just drill it into you, like at least five times. I read. Just go, go to Farron. In such an scary way. Oh my god. It's amazing how this series went from just being completely obscure and just fuck you, figure it yourself, to just a hand-holding of the highest order. They left just like that? Well, I'm sure those who will be just fine. I must study more about the Zonai civilization so I don't fall behind Chora and Caleb. Yet yeah, it seems somewhat frivolous next to the mystery of the real Princess Zelda's whereabouts. I don't doubt that she is safe as well. I must believe that. As chief of this village, I can't leave my people, so I must place the search in your capable hands. I pray that Princess Zelda will return to us soon. Dude. Okay. Where am I going again? I, I think they want me to go to Lanayru. No, wait, was it Hylia? Hyrule Field? Oh, man, I can't remember. If only they had mentioned it six times. I may remember where I need to go. Oh, man. The ruins of Farron. What ruins are they talking about? I don't think it, I think this might be. Oh, well, let's see. Ow. Oh. 
Other side. Maybe I should reload and go through the dialogue again. That's an excellent idea. Came to learn about the Zona from an expert, I gather. I should welcome you to our humble base of operations. Behold, this is where the real investigation starts. It might not seem like much next to that Skyview Tower. I'll concede. Ooh. Going forward, our research will proceed from here. Toro has already gone off to the Zonai Ruins. Around Dracozu Lake. Okay, Dracozu Lake. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there. Ah, it's that thing. Seems like it's uh, gonna progress to that. Oh, this is so quiet now. He's not here. Dear Caleb, the influence of the upheaval has spread to the Zonai ruins. Did you see the pillar-shaped ruin in front of this tent? There shouldn't be artifacts of that kind around here. It's an anomaly. And there's more. The rubble at the base of the pillar opened, revealing an ins a way inside. A new discovery. Naturally, I'll be going inside. Inside? It's not this. Hmm. Oh, yeah, the light's also over there. I thought it was referring to this. I was like, that's nothing new. Mm. Aha, you came after all. I figured you would after you made the breakthrough at the Ring Ruins. But listen to this, I've already got a whopper of a discovery on my hook here. Here, look at this. It's a Zonai mural, complete with intact text. The style is unmistakable. It's nothing short of miraculous that it's still here, and basically intact. Which, come to think of it, might have might be ascribable to the Zonai's advanced technology. I've got a fair bit of knowledge of the script, so I just had to try deciphering it. But some of it still eludes me. Aww. Maybe it's a poem. Maybe it's some kind of code, perhaps. Here, I'll read it out loud so we can both get on the same page. Oh. The first part says, Wear electric garb hidden at the long neck dragons along the wide mouth open serpent. Wear the electric garb hidden along the long... Hidden at the long neck dragons along the wide mouth forest serpent. Okay. Oh. Tall pillars designed to look like dragons. Forest serpents, though. Haven't seen any designs like that. What am I missing? What other wide mouth open serpent is there? 
We get the forest serpent bit to ah oh, the Dracosa River to a forest dragon. Anyway, there's more to this code. I'll keep reading. Mm. Offer a Zonai charge to the altar at the tail. Pretty sure I got that right, but I have no idea what it means. What in the world is a Zonai charge, and where is this altar with a tail? If we crack at all the riddles in this code, I'm sure great discoveries await us. There's one more thing I'm curious about. Oh. I should have mentioned this, but I found one more Zonai relic at the back of these ruins. Judging from the shape, I think there's something inside, but I can't get it open. Oh. Crack the code, can't get the box open. This just isn't my day. Okay. I guess that's the gob. Alter at the tail. Okay. I guess let's follow the river. So there's multiple of these. Were they just not open before? Or did I just not notice them? Okay. A shrine at the end of the tail. I guess look for the shrine. Yeah. I mean, I would imagine where all these Zona gods are. Seems to make sense. Offer a Zonai charge to the altar at the tail. Don't think it's here, I think it's further south.
altar at the tail. Wait, there's a light source there. to spell the lightning. Okay. Oh. Caleb, did you see that? Lightning struck that dragon pillar too. Huh? Is someone inside those ruins? Oh, it's you again. We think a terrible lightning strike hit here, but I'm glad to see you weren't hurt. Oh. I've never seen a lightning strike like that, and even stranger, the dragon statue's eyes seem to glow just before it. Link, if you know anything about this, fill us in on what happened. Oh. Unbelievable. A mechanism in the ancient ruins got rid of the thunder clouds and revealed some new sky islands? Mm. Great catch, another amazing discovery on the books. In fact, I'd say <laughs> it's the whole of the century. It's a significant discovery, to be sure. I'd like to go investigate further, but we have no way of getting up there. Oh. Hmm, you're right. That doesn't seem to make it any less exciting, though. We need to report this to Pero right away. Oh. Caleb, I'm going back to Kakariko Village. I want to write up the recent events around the floating ring ruin and report for Pura. You should stick around here to conduct a thorough investigation. Find out if there are any more discoveries to be made. No. Well, remain here. You mean alone? Yeah, so even if we can't get up to the sky, there's so much to discover on land. It's our duty to unravel all of it. You can do this, Caleb. Uh, he wants me to investigate alone? Fieldwork isn't my strongest suit. But this may be my chance to make a historic discovery. Uh, right, leave this to me, Tara. I'll begin preparing at once. I'll need to head back to our base of operations for a bit first. Okay. <laughs> Um, I guess let's get shot into the sky. It still looks like it's affected, I guess we'll see. It does seem less annoying. Thunderhead Isles.
produces electricity during rainstorms. Why would I want that? Anyway. Unless it makes me immune to lightning strikes. That's the shield as well. Uh, get that one. Lightning strike immunity would make sense. to use that one more time. I think it just yeeted my bar. Should be fine. Probably already acquired. Yeah. Okay, 
Okay, so writing that as liability. Dead, to be honest. Someone hit it. I don't know who that was, but well done. Acquired. Oh no, not acquired. Okay, well. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, look. It's giving me the opportunity, I'm gonna take it. Over there, I can see it. things where I have to go like under somehow let's see spend anything to get to this one but I think the way this one has to work is like we need to make this move along here It's blowing the other way, that's why.
quick. Okay, now I have a quick way back up here. I doubt this is already worthy. Ah, even tide style. Short circuit. So, I mean, I'm guessing it wants me to use electricity. It's an archer. I guess there was other stuff I could have used. Alright. Come on, good weapon. You know what? That's very useful, because... When I fight... The King Gliok, that's probably the most useful thing I can apply to myself.
I wonder if it respawned the, uh, the building supplies. It did. I can see him. Oh shit. <laughs> ah! Where's my bow? Must have fallen. The bow was about to break anyway. Explore this a bit better. Wait, there's another side. Oh. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I guess go back to this. Probably look at all the chests then. There's another one here. We. Yep. Shock a mirror. Gonna see if I covered my bases here. Oh, this is new. 
Holy shit. Okay, there's one easy way to do this. I want to see what kind of devices are on sale here. <laughs> okay, fans are here, so... I guess it's worth finding out what else. <sighs> Cooking pots, fans, shock emitters. It's useful. This is giving a lot more fans than other machines, which is nice. Okay, so let me just face the direction that I haven't gone in. over there. Okay, hang on, another chest over here. I must, yeah, there's three more sage wheels then. But I got the feeling I'm going to fight a Thunder Gliok at the end of this. Oh, another chest. Stick the landing. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna swing around a bit more. Chest has been acquired. any further. Wait, what? 
according to this map, I should see stuff underneath, but... Okay, it's pretty far down. the ring thing. Wait, why didn't it do it? Hmm. Maybe not. I thought it was going to be the ring thing. Well. Let's see what this is. Apparently already were they. Uh, I think I can upgrade gear with that. I think I have enough again. More stamina incoming. Oh, there you go. That's all the shrines done. This is the final light of blessing. Make your way to the temple of time. There sh you shall find a suitable reward for your efforts. Okay, I guess we're done with shrines. gate here. Do I have anything that classifies? There we go. That's fine. I'll take that hit. What is this? Oh, this is a this is a health gate. More than enough. A sage's mask.
Oh. Link. Zelda's chosen protector. Take this. Follow the light. Nate? Guidance from ages past. Oh, it's a pickup. Ah, oh, it's not. Okay, it's gonna like it's gonna let me make a plane. That's fine. Another Zonai device thing. Yeah, I thought I was a mask as well. It looks very mask-like. This is just everything to build a plane, I imagine. Yeah, this is a plane machine. Which, that's fine. Okay, um... Be the face of the plane, I guess. There's the cart. There should be a cart somewhere here. No? Okay. Oh, well, that's fine. I got 28 of them. I don't think the cart was necessary now that I see this, but whatever, it's fine. Where are we going? I'm going down. Apparently. Oh, I know where this is taking me already. Without even... Yeah, it's going to that ominous statue at the dead end. I'm very foggy now all of a sudden. Look at that landing. Wait, oh, I think I need to bring it still. Pop. 
Yeah, okay. It, it's pretty gigantic for it to be a mask. It looks smaller than what it was. Terbio's Hollow's Chasm. Another chasm? The Karak Masters makes these cutscenes so dumb. It just, it's such a serious moment, but the mask. Oh man. Oh shit, another dungeon? Link. Zelda's chosen protector. You must hurry. We must meet as soon as possible. I think I just realized what this is. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be the sage, aren't I? Wait a minute, haven't I been here? Ah, oh, it's this big ominous thing. Okay, now this makes sense. Ah, that's when I thought I was done with the underground. Keeps pulling me back in. Okay. I got the feeling I might have to reduce my heart count by one. But we'll see. If it becomes obvious there's a boss, I'm going to have to do it. Uh. There are four keys to be found. Link. Zelda's chosen protector. It's speaking to me, so. My name is Minoru. I am the Sage of Spirit. I am happy you have arrived. At last we can speak with each other. Unfortunately, I no longer have a body. Without a physical form, we cannot yet speak face to face. But... Do you see the four storehouses in the area? Ooh, this music is cool. I would ask you to visit each of them and assemble a body for me. Yeah, Robo Sage. But the music as well. This is my request to you, Link. Loyal swordsman to Zelda. I came across this area and it was empty, but now this makes sense. Bridge. Or 
is it? It's more like a ramp, I think. As opposed to a bridge. Okay, I can't grab it. So with that light up. Bridge, John. Probably build it. I'm just trying to figure out what what exactly is here. All right. Well, the stuff here. So let's just see what it's giving me exactly. Wheels, wheels, wheels. Wheels, rocket. It's just. But I don't see anything. Hang on. Yeah, that's just the door I came in. Oh, I may have missed the major thing here. Ah, there's an interact thing. Okay, that explains it. And then it drops apart. Now it's going to lock me in. Okay. Alright, now this makes sense. Okay, I got what I have to do. Should be fine. Two might be overkill, but let's just ride them on. Let's go. Shit, too low. Okay, hang on. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. It still works. It still works. Still works, still works. <laughs> it's fine. Still works perfectly fine. Uh, do I just take this now? It's not opened. It's just a chest. Okay, leave this here for a minute. Alright, 
Alright, but I wouldn't specifically need this, I don't think. I got it. I got it. This one just carry it. Let's see. How do I crack it open? I didn't see anything to crack it open in there. Complicate it. That's one. Bring the other three here as well, Link. so much better. Snake truck. Uh. Oh, 
will be fine. Suppose whilst I'm down here, there's definitely no Korok, so it doesn't make sense. Going full deity gear. <laughs> right arm depot. Okay. That's like a conveyor belt. What kind of factory locks the door behind when you produce something? A content factory, ha. Huh? Why is this electrified? I don't think that's doing anything. There's something down there that I can see. That's a lengthy process I'm going to have to go through to just get this across. Like, insanely lengthy. Unless I missed the point, but it's fine. We'll use what's at, at my disposal in terms of my own tools. I guess if I want to be like super boring about this, which I can be. Like, that's really all I need. It's 
been a while since I've done this. it across. Now I guess if I wanna... Admittedly, it's not without its problems. <laughs> kind of, it kind of flies. I think we're done here, but it's fine. Get it out. Hard part's done. That's another part. Two left. Oh, that one seems to be in a strange spot. This one's intended to be getting in there with flight. There's a ramp and everything, so let's just...
Very mild curiosity here. Can't take off. I'm sure I could make one strong enough to take off. gonna work. Hang on, it needs to go this way. I should have everything required to do this here. the icon up here. If it would stop moving. It's alright. Okay, I think it stopped moving now. I saw it go green for a minute. <laughs> never say never. Ah, <laughs> oh, you dick. That's just annoying. Asshole. This way. Really? doing this the right way. Yeah. 
Cheese it is. stable that way. I think one of the most annoying things about this is just the snap feature. It's like, I don't want it there. I want it. Okay, I'm gonna have to settle for this, I think. So all I, need, all I need it to do is just levitate. And then I just catch it, that's it. There's nothing special about it. Yeah, no, that, that's, that's exactly where I put the rocket, thank you. its purpose. Do that. I'll fix it when I get to the bottom. Hoping this won't mess up the equilibrium, we'll see. I'm 
It might very well, but I just, I don't really have to fly for too long. Let's just get to the spot and that's it. Oh, I'm out of energy. Shit. I gotta wait. Yeah, that's fine. Surprisingly easy to control. It's a lag. One more. One more left, Link. The body for my spirit is nearly complete. This looks like a slide. Okay. Like a drawbridge. Huh. Okay, still, still safe, still, still safe. As long as I can get it across, it doesn't matter. Just not sure how s stable this is exactly. Oh god, it's tilting. Okay, this needs more support. Okay. 
This needs to hold a bit better. Like I need to not let it move from here. Sure, as long oh, damn it. As long as it doesn't move. That works. Okay. I think this is enough to get it across. Why is my energy bring being drained? Okay, it's cross. Shit. <laughs> I thought I could make it. It's all right, everything's still intact. Why didn't the glider appear? I was pressing X. Not enough of a jump, apparently. This doesn't feel right. What am I doing wrong? I mean, either way, I'm gonna need another one. This is either going to work or it's just going to be stupid. Nothing. So what exactly is the intent behind us then? doesn't work either. <laughs> I 
It's the only thing I can think of is like... I guess experiment with this. I saw the bridge example, but I'm not quite sure how it works. The drawbridge thing. Thanks, that's, that's exactly what I was trying to do. I honestly do not get what this is trying to get me to do. Unless it's just one wheel. Maybe I'm complicating it with two. This doesn't I tried going that way. Oh, this feels like a bad idea. Shit, it was the right thing. Undo. It's like I can jump on it. This physics thing they have in this game. Okay, 
Okay, but like... Oh, you asshole! Really? Okay. Ugh, that was some effort right there. You know what? I'm gonna be lazy about this. I just, I, I can't be bothered figuring it out, honestly. It's just gonna take ages. We have fans here. Yeah, we do. to be perfect, it just needs to get there. <laughs> just, uh, that's fine. The explosion did not affect the integrity of the part. Okay, there was a wall there for some reason. Thank you, Link. Now only one task remains. We must recover my secret stone. A boss? It should be located here. Please, Link, let us go there together. We have to walk. The path will be very dangerous. Fortunately, this construct body you have built for me is hardly helpless. 
There is a platform nearby where we can explore its potential. Ooh. Now hurry, Link. We must recover my secret stone. Wait, are we gonna ride? Okay. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be cool. Okay. Right hand, left hand, back part, attack. Whoa. The weapons here can draw forth the true power of this construct. Attach one to a hand, and the power in combat will be magnified several fold. Uh -huh. The red to the secret stone is long and arduous. I recommend that you make stops at each armory along the way. Get accustomed to operating this construct so that you are prepared for whatever you may face. Okay, um... Middle play, left hand. Detach. Right hand. I think I messed up. Land ball, back part. Sure. Maybe I didn't make a... Which has a very bad back part, but it's fine. Why is this fire not hitting them? Keep going. Yes. Trying to do like a Naruto run. <laughs> oh man. Hmm. Oh, cannon. We definitely want cannon. Um, cannon left. And then spike ball right. Hey! <laughs> Can I walk over corruption? I doubt it. Let's see. Oh no, it can. I am the wrong. I mean, this is cool and everything, but I just, I just don't think, in terms of usability in battle, it's, it's as good as uh, uh, just Link fighting. 
It is amusing at best. Oh, the fan's about to run out. Look at look at how little it does. Just just look at how little it does. Nah, man. I'm I'm just I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> this is very underwhelming for what it is. I'm good. It's just gonna take ages to kill that thing. Honestly. It's very cool, but it just, it does fuck all. As far as damage is concerned. Uh -huh. It's one of those things that... Very cool concept, uh, just the execution seems a bit lackluster. Look at this. Here for the Zonites. <laughs> About to run out, isn't it? Oh, it's gone. Just leave it at that. Naruto! <laughs> it's so stupid. I love it. I do say. Wait, can I do both hands at once? No. No. How would we do this? Just, it's just straight up the rocket, isn't it? Up. Hello, back part.
Uh. What's that? Well, there we go. It stopped responding for a sec. Okay, so it just it just shoots a rocket. There we go. Oh, that's annoying. The spirit temple. Is this gonna get a heart? Question mark. I might have to uh, go trade out a heart. Guess let's see. Doesn't look like there's gonna be a boss here. This is cool. This reminds me of the statues in Twilight Princess. So we're only just getting to... We're only just getting to this now. Please don't let it be another four doors. <laughs> I already did four doors. No, okay, it's just there. There might be a boss. Yeah, honestly, if there's a boss fight, I am just gonna use Link. I think they put this goop here just so you can't. Okay, there's gonna be a fight here. It's a cage match. Oh, it's a I was gonna say, this remind That construct! I made it long ago. It reminds me of the Skyward Sword boss. It must be under the control of something monstrous. Demon King has turned my creation into his pawn. We must defeat it. We can do this together, Link. <laughs> Let's go. We have to stop that construct. Robot fighting. This is... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we must think of something else. <laughs> These devices are very dangerous. Be careful. I can shoot. Okay, I can aid. Yeah, that's the key. That's the key right there. This thing is Okay, well, now I know how to how to fight. Quite sturdy. We keep knocking it over, but that is all. <laughs> that works. <laughs> okay, so lightning's up here. Give me a minute. 
Get in that. Okay, I need an eight. Um, I'll just save the colors of stuff because honestly, nothing better. Fun at least. <laughs> oh, extra arms. It brought out more arms. Be careful. Shit! This is light. Okay, okay, okay. Well, we can just keep using lightning arrows because we're the cheap motherfucker. You've almost done it, but remain ready for anything. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that's all well and good what it was about to do. I mean, this was pretty fun. As the novelty, it was fun. I just don't, I can't imagine outside of this situation I'm gonna fight anything like that because you just do way more as Link. But this was cool. I enjoyed this. This was fun. It doesn't have to be usable later for me to uh, have enjoyed this. There's a heart, isn't it? I gotta come back. I gotta come back. <laughs> Crap. Okay, so I gotta go swap a heart container for a stamina vessel. Which is fine. Oh, well, I'll, I'll take another stamina vessel. I feel like I can just teleport here. I think I can. Can't take it. <laughs> Whoops. It's okay. I wish my Nintendo Switch could do that.
Okay. Well, this sage number five. Damn, the game doesn't realize he had max hearts and make that stamina reward. Yeah, I know. That would be a good quality of life thing. Then it would have removed the need to have to, uh, to swap out the container. That would be a very good solution to it. And one of the Zonai. Just, glad to meet you. I don't know why, but I just thought of Breaking Bad and Hank. Jesus Christ, Marie, it's Minoru! It is because of you that we have recovered my secret stone. Originally, my intent was to awaken when you first found the Porapad, then to guide you to my construct and assist you on your journey. I had not anticipated a battle with that same construct. <laughs> you have proven quite adept. And I am grateful for all your efforts. Link. Here. In the name of Minoru, Sage of Spirit, I grant my power unto you. I believe it will serve you well. Wait, are we going to have a robot following me around, or her? <laughs> That's going to be the thumbnail right there. Alright, well, that's, that's all the sages. With this power I've given, a deep bond has been forged Which means there's three more... And from this point forward, my spirit will reside within that construct. <laughs> Three more sage things to go. If I would have known, I wouldn't have upgraded. <laughs> uh, Yanobo would not have gotten the upgraded. I am the one. I am one who lived in the distant past in the age of Hyrule's founding. Circumstances force me to forsake my body and become a being of pure spirit. Long I have slumbered within Zelda's parapad in order to share what I knew when it passed into your hands. I apologize that our meeting has been so long delayed. The Demon King's interference is to blame. Nevertheless, I ask your pardon. Well then. Now, on to the topic at hand. In my own age, the distant past, from your perspective, Zelda awakened as a sage of time and appeared before us. What I must relate to you is a tragedy that occurred in Hyrule's history. At its crux was Zelda, who held a secret stone and traversed time. Uh -huh. She made a momentous decision in those days gone by. I would have you know of the resolve she poured into the blade, the Master Sword. Long ago, my people known as the Zonai came down from the heavens to the surface of the world. It was said they were descendants of gods. They bore treasures from these same gods, secret stones capable of amplifying the abilities of those who possessed them. Using the knowledge of the Zonai, my younger brother Raru became a great leader. He met a young woman named Sonia, and they would wed. Raru gifted Sonia one of the secret stones, Together, they sought to establish their kingdom. This is how the kingdom of Hyrule, with Raru and Sonia as its first king and queen, came to be. The future looked bright. However, tragedy suddenly struck. A man of great evil emerged from the desert. The leader of the Gerudo, Ganondorf killed Queen Sonia and stole her secret stone. Using the secret stone, Ganondorf transformed into the Demon King. He then created swarms of monsters and attacked. Hyrule rose up to face these threats, but the evil power driving the monsters forward was staggering. The defenders were on the brink of defeat. 
Raru then came up with a plan to turn the tide of the war. He entrusted secret stones to warriors with exceptional abilities. They became sages and united in an effort to finally defeat the Demon King. Raru and the sages outnumbered the Demon King and should have been able to stop him. However... The Demon King's power had grown far beyond anything we could have imagined. I was unable to withstand his strength. Our fight appeared all but lost. And then, Raru. committed himself to one final act. This is the hand thing. Ah, that's where the chest wound comes from. Okay. See, people thought because of where the chest wound was, it was connected to the Twilight Princess, because Ganondorf in that game has a chest wound in that spot, pretty much. Don't be so smug. I know exactly what it will cost me. <laughs> Raru! <laughs> Thousands of years will pass on the blink of an eye. You only delay the inevitable. You're wrong. Years from now, someone will appear with the sword that seals the darkness. A swordsman with the power to defeat you, Link. Remember yes. this name. Tell him his name. So then he knows who to look for. That's great. That's a cool pose, though. Oh, there's that eerie music. Uh -huh. You know this tragedy as the imprisoning war. Though it took all we were to a able to give, we succeeded in imprisoning the Demon King. But I was wounded in the process. My body was soon to expire. That is when Zelda came to me, bearing a decayed and broken sword. Yes, you will recall how the Master Sword vanished from your hand at the Temple of Time. From there, it traveled into the distant past, appearing in Zelda's hands. And now you hold it once again. You're saying that sword traveled through time the same way you did? Yes, but more importantly, in my original time, the Demon King was vulnerable to even the smallest piece of this sword. Even someone like him has vulnerabilities. Hmm. Then... What exactly are you suggesting we do with the sword? Over time, the Master Sword is able to absorb sacred power. It can heal itself. 
and even grow stronger. Curious. If we were able to empower it in that way, it could be the key to defeating the Demon King. But it could take centuries for that sword to grow strong enough. The power the Demon King wields. I do not see how this can be done. It would be impossible for you to provide it with sacred power for so long. I can think of one way. You mean... Yes, I can do it. I have to. I've told you. That act is forbidden. For a very good reason. It would mean throwing yourself away. <laughs> oh, Minoru! If Zelda was edgy enough or allowed to be edgy enough, that would have been blood. You won't be able to change back. The moment I had the sword, I knew what to do. I knew this was why I came to this era. I... I want to restore the Master Sword and deliver it to Link. I understand. You really have made up your mind? Very well then. As a Zonai, I bear my share of blame for these events. So I too will devote myself to this goal and to this hero of yours. For the Swordsman Link, I will do everything I can. Even if my body should perish, I will still be with you in spirit. After all Zelda and I discussed strategy, we laid the groundwork for guiding you in the distant future. Before the gloom's affliction took my life, I became a spirit and entered the parapet. Then Zelda did what she felt she must and began the forbidden process. She believed you would use the Master Sword to defeat the Demon King and restore peace to Hyrule. Uh -huh. You already have in hand the hope that Zelda left to you, the sword that seals the darkness, the Master Sword. Well then. Go now, Link. With the sword of hope that Zelda left you, you will surely smite the Demon King Ganondorf. Trail of the Master Sword complete. Okay. Oh, I've got the sword. Okay, well, I... Okay, the gate is just here. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, a mild inconvenience, but... <laughs> Let's go fix this up. I guess it doesn't want to spoil the fact that there's more heart containers to find, but yeah, I mean, it should detect, hmm, you have all the heart containers, let's give you a stamina vessel instead, and cut the middleman out.
Okay. I have to pay 20 rupees for that. So, two and a half wheels, I guess, is what I'm going to get, or whatever it is. Okay. Would have been nice to get three whole wheels. Okay, uh, we're now going to here. Full power! Okay, um... Alright, now... Where's the reward? So you need to go, it's, alright. This is the Temple of Time. <laughs> so now, I have to make the decision, do I, do I really hunt the Koroks? I'm not halfway. I know this much. Oh, it's... Actually the construct, it's not a spirit. <laughs> Only children is allowed to exist. I thought for a sec that we were gonna get handed one of those, and then we'd get powered up as a result, but it's cool, there's a fifth sage. Oh, 
what's the reward this time? Ancient hero's aspect. This item is said to contain the spirit of a hero who saved Hyrule. That hero's aura will envelop. Whoa. Oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> that was, uh... Wow. Uh, I wonder if this can be upgraded. That, that looks very scary. No, man, like, it, it's it's the head. It's just the head. <laughs> it just doesn't look right. You got a tail as well? Oh, man. It just, lo it just looks so wrong. Raru slowly possessing Link, I guess. I mean, we'll see what happens. <laughs> That's certainly not what I was expecting. <laughs> I was expecting a new a new tunic, you know, like. Dress up in the classic outfit. But this is, uh, this is something else. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, it's different, it's cool, subverting expectations, but it just does not look right, man. Look at that. Look at, look at the face. Look at the face. It's the face, it's just... Oh, man. It, it just looks wrong. Back in the chest. Hinox guts. I need more Hinox. It, it is upgradable. It requires Zonite. This is probably going to be the strongest gear. Okay, well. It is upgradable. It's so creepy. It's just, it's because it's, it's too human. It's like they tried to keep Link's human form instead of just going the full transformation. But the head just looks way too human.
They should have done it how they did it in Majora's Mask, where it was just full-fledged transformation into that um, type. I, I, I hate it. <laughs> uh, Alright, the fifth sage, how do we wrap this up? I guess we just talk to, uh, let's see what their reaction is going to be. Well, did you find anything about the fifth sage, Link? You look perfectly normal. Nothing to talk about here. You found the sage of spirit. Minoru? This is incredible. That means we have the five sages. Fantastic work, Link. I can't believe this is actually one of the sages you faced against the demon king along Princess Silver. Now we have news about the princess. There's some relief in that, at least. So in the ancient past, Princess Zelda worked to restore the decayed Master Sword and return it to your hand. Trusting that you would defeat the Demon King in the present day. She did so much all on her own. What? The Master Sword was restored, you say? When were you planning on telling me? And it was found on the head of a white dragon of all places? That's hard to believe. However, hmm. this was Princess Zelda's wish. One... She believed in so strongly that she gave her life to see it through for us. Thank you for finding the sword, Link. I have to say, <laughs> you really don't look quite yourself unless you've got the master sword at your side. Check it. Now then, it seems you have all you need. You're prepared to face our enemy. We need to determine where the Demon King is lurking. It's, uh, it seems unlikely he'd still be in Hyrule Castle. I can't think of any place he'd be on the surface. That must mean... That's it, the depths. Well, wouldn't you say there's a high probability he's in the depths? Do what you think is best, of course, but my suggestion is to ask Joshua for any info she might have. She's enthusiastic about investigating the depths, so I'm sure she'd be happy to help out. Well, so the Demon King is in the deepest reaches of the depths, far beneath Hyrule Castle. As usual, you're one step ahead of me, Link. Hmm. And you look so calm and collected despite what you're up against. You navigated the depths, which are incredibly dangerous and home to all sorts of nasty creatures. Not to mention all the gloom down there, it must have been a very challenging investigation. And yet you did it. Hmm. Thank you, Link. So much. Mm -hmm. Joshua turned out to be pretty capable, eh? That kid was working tirelessly to gather information. She wanted to be of use to you. Make sure you let her know her help was valuable, yeah? With this, with this, preparations are complete. Now our target is the deepest reaches of the depths of beneath Hyrule Castle. Of course, I'll let all the sages know right away when you head to face the Demon King. You're not alone in this. Princess Zelda's final wish. Please hit the Demon King right in the face for me. Well, I can't pick that quest anymore. I mean, there's still a bunch of outstanding stuff. Like, yeah. What? I did that quest. Alright, look. Okay, this is where I'm gonna leave Tears of the Kingdom for tonight. Lots of progress. And now I, I have the decision to make. Whether or not I, I bother with the Koroks. Oh, man. <laughs> uh... I'll have a look how many there are, but I, I know that there's over 900 this time. It's just a matter of how how many more, because I'm at four, just over 450. Um, if I was to take a guess, given given how the shrines have worked out, I think the way it works is there's going to be 900 of them on the ground, and then a certain amount in the sky. Because with the shrines, there's 120 on the ground. 
and then the remainder are in the sky. So it's like they kept the same amount on the ground, and then in the sky they just added some new ones. And I get the feeling the Koroks are going to be the same, where 900 of them are on the ground, and then whatever remainder is in the sky. That's That seems to be the likely scenario, so... I'll have a think about it. Um, yeah. Alright, uh... I was going to do something else, but since it's a bit more quiet tonight, I think I'll just play some Diablo on stream just for a bit, but that'll... I'll do it for Zelda. I'll continue this tomorrow at some point. Pending Korok stuff. <laughs> anyway, if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking and sticking around to the end. And consider button clicking algorithm purpose stuff if you want to support. 